Hello everybody and welcome to a bit of a follow-up to the yesterday's video about parallax occlusion mapping. As I've already stated in the video I wasn't sure if the mapping was correct. So after checking out some of the other materials I realized that the normals and tangents used to construct the rotation matrix were actually in the view space which made the parallax effect rotate with the camera or rotation which is not correct. So in this video I will show you the corrected effects with a few new materials and also the old ones. As you can see from the new material the parallax effect gives the grass a subtle feel of depth and with materials with uniform displacement like this dried dirt the effect height can be increased quite a bit giving the scene a real sense of depth. And now again I'll show you the materials from the previous video and I won't talk too much about them since I've covered them before. So this is the first cliff rock from the previous video and this one is just another rock cliff material. And again with the coral material which still doesn't look good in this scene. These next blocks are currently the best looking material in my opinion. But I'm not really sure about this cobblestone. Another material that really benefits from the effect are these spaced out tiles which can't really have the largest displacement but they look pretty good. When talking about this oak floor material I said that there was basically no benefit with the parallax but after fixing the effect it adds a slight detail. Similarly with these broken tiles the effect looks much better than it did before the fix. So this brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully the parallax occlusion mapping now looks correct. If you like this video like it and if you want to see more videos in the development log series please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!